Hey guys, it's Paul here once again, and uh, today I just wanted to open up a package that a good friend sent me. Um, I forget his uh, YouTube username, it escapes my mind at the moment, but uh, we mostly correspond through Facebook, that's why I really don't remember it. But he sent me a book in the mail, um, just just for free for me to check out, but I plan on sending him a few flicks in the mail as a thank you, and um, that's really the purpose of this video, just as a major thank you uh, from him, so thanks a lot Dominic. So here it is, and I'm going to open it up, I already have an idea of what this is. It's a book I've wanted for a while. It's a little out of date, but, uh, let's see. Terror on Tape. I believe the book was written in 89, so it's obviously not going to have, uh, all the tapes from the 90s. Um, actually, it's not from 94. Um, I don't know why I thought 89. I thought I read that somewhere. But, uh, it has a lot of cool titles in here. Alright, guys, so I went through the book. I didn't read every review, I didn't really look at every single page, but I um, took a look and I wanted to point out the things that uh, st stuck out to me the most. The introduction is only one page, that's it, just, just one page. Nothing really interesting, it just talks about movies and ratings and stuff like that. It really doesn't talk about videos too much, except for one paragraph. Um, and I'll try to read that to you, it says, The video revolution beginning in the late 70s has been a double-edged sword for movie horror. Although it's made available, many titles not often seen, everything from Todd Browning's Freaks to H.G. Lewis's Blood Feast. It's also become the dumping ground for all manner of direct-to-video dreck, as anyone who's ever suffered through The Devil's Gift or Zombie Lake can solemnly attest. And that is true. It was really the video market that really brought to life a lot of these really cruddy movies, especially um, some of the shot on video movies. Some of them are good, but uh, a lot of them are bad, but the reason they were made in the first place was because of video. I'm just going to take a look. Um, I'm going to go through this uh, book. Uh, I made some notes. I put little bookmarks here. One good thing about this book that I would like to bring up is the age. Like I said, it came out in 94, so that means um, you don't have a lot of the horror that came out after 94 so this is a lot of the stuff that you would find on video at least for us video collectors now it doesn't have a lot of the obscure titles but it does have some and uh, we're going to go through them i made these little markers like i said so here we have the most obscure movie i found in this book the abomination donna michelle video is what it says but it's actually donna michelle productions it's a correct name i only gave it half a star so that's probably the most obscure review uh, in the book, I also looked up things like Gourmet Zombie Chef from Hell and Video Violence, and it actually does not have any of the uh, shot on video movies. It has some, like The Ripper and Blood Cult, but it really doesn't have ones like 555 and, like I said, Video Violence, which kind of disappoints me. It does have some camp video titles, but doesn't um, have the shot on video ones. Now here it has something interesting. The best of sex and violence, and that's from Wizard Video. It actually has a review from that. It says it came out in 1981. Is that true? I don't remember. Actually, yeah, I think it is. But uh, that surprised me. It says Wizard Video there, and right on this other page, A Bell from Hell. Unicorn Video. Um, that was cool. That's a pretty obscure title right there. A uh, cool thing about the guy who wrote this book is that he has a lot of the alternate titles for these. Back in the day, before internet, it must have been incredibly difficult to get all these alternate titles. I don't know how they would have done it without reading tons and tons of friggin' books, but that impressed me a lot. Let's see, look at this. Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> mogul video. Does anyone have a mogul video of Cannibal Holocaust? Cannibal Holocaust, to my knowledge, has never been released in the U.S. in the 80s um, on VHS. It was released at theaters shortly, but never released a video. I mean, there was a, a bootleg that was released in the 90s at some time. But Mogul Video never released kind of a Holocaust, so that interested me. He must have had a bootleg or something. Uh, I don't know. Um, actually, give it three stars. Look at that. Um, these, is, these are rated from one star to four stars. Four stars being excellent. I actually gave Campbell Holocaust three stars. Um, I should probably read this. I didn't, actually didn't read this review. I actually just stumbled upon it, so that's interesting. I actually didn't think Campbell Holocaust would be in here because there is no VHS release in the U.S. of Campbell Holocaust. So, uh... 
that surprises me but let's see what else is on this page all right now across from Campbell Holocaust is California Axe Massacre now look what it says wizard video wizard video did not release California Axe Massacre they did not so there are mistakes in here um, for the most part it's correct but there's plenty of mistakes which I'll go through I found uh, several so let's see here they have make them die slowly thought that was cool that it had this title although all the thriller video uh, wherever it says thriller video there's no space in between thriller and video not sure why they did that it is it is actually two words I'm not so sure why they did that I gave it two and a half stars it's not too bad it was actually pretty generous to make them die slowly let's see now the thing that bothers me the m a whole lot in here is that I gave maniac one and a half stars maniac is a great movie really um, it's one of those slasher films that really stand out to me and in this book it has one of the lowest ratings for the slasher films at least some of the biggest slasher films the bigger ones I can I consider this one uh, Maniac, one of the bigger slasher films, but it did give Maniac Cop two and a half stars, which is a much, uh, much more boring movie to me. I, I think Maniac is a much better movie than Maniac Cop. I know some of you probably disagree, but I really think Maniac is a good movie. Um, let's see what else is in here. Here we have Necromantic under film threat. I was really surprised to see that. Now there's an obscure title for you, and there's the sequel. And look at the rating it gave it. Three stars. I wouldn't even give it three stars. I mean, I could watch it once in a while, but I don't really think it's that great a movie. It's one of those gimmick movies. A movie that really lives on a gimmick. New Year's Evil. Paragon gave it one and a half stars. New York Ripper. Vidmark, which is correct. Now, here's something that really bothered me. Silent Night, Deadly Night only has one star. Why is that? I don't know. And it has some misinformation. It's wrong about one of the details of Silent Night, Deadly Night. It says Wilson instead of Billy. Now, I understand that uh, Billy is a nickname for William, but not Wilson. Where did they come up with, with Wilson? I don't understand. I guess they got it mixed up with William. Um, but uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night is uh, one of the slash films that stand out to me. It's a unique film in a, a few ways. And what's even more weird is that Silent Night, Deadly Night 3 has a better review than Part 1. I don't get that. I, I just really don't. I mean, I could sit through Part 3, but it's nowhere near as good as the original. Certainly not. Here's another mistake we've got here. The Grim Reaper. And it says media released it. Media did not release the Grim Reaper. It was Monterey Home Video mistake there um it really seems like this guy just went to his local video store and rented all the horror movies and just reviewed them but uh there are mistakes like this um several mistakes on the video distributors it's cool that these even have um the video distributors so i'm really happy about that because a lot of these books don't um, and it does actually have uh those are viral movies too oops out of focus um growing pains here we have Hospital Massacre, which I reviewed recently. Look, it actually has the alternate titles. Be My Valentine or else, X-Ray and Ward 13. Distributor's correct. I gave it two stars. I'd probably give it two and a half stars on a scale of one through four. So, that's a decent rating. Now, now I found another mistake. Let's see. It has to do with Meat Cleaver Massacre. Now, let me find it. Here it is. Meat Cleaver Massacre. Now, this movie was only released once in the U.S. on the VHS. And the distributor was Catalina Home Video, but here it clearly shows United Home Video, which is wrong. Um, didn't really read too much about the review, but I just wanted to point out that it had uh, another mistake. So Here we have a review for Zombie Lake. I'd probably give it zero stars. That movie is so bad. Um, this book has pretty much all of the wizard titles, at least almost all of them. Um, from what I could tell, even some of the slipcases, at least the hard related ones. Um, overall, the book is not bad. I mean, it, if you're a video collector, you should definitely pick it up. I mean, it's really cheap. You get it on Amazon for a few bucks, I think. So I definitely suggest picking it up. But 
be careful if you're relying on some of the distributors because some of them are just flat out wrong. So don't depend on the distributors. I mean, a lot of them are right and you can use them for your research, but just don't depend on them because you're going to have some trouble finding certain titles because they don't exist on that label. For example, Meat Cleaver Massacre and United. They're going to have a tough time finding that because it doesn't exist. Or a better example is Cannibal Holocaust on Mogul Video because that's yet another example of a movie that does not exist on that label. Thanks again to Dominic who sent me this book. And um, thank you guys for watching this video. See you later.